How's it going, Heavy Gear players? This is Devron from the Heavy Gear cast, and today we're going to be looking at the Ulan and the Black Wind. So let's go ahead and start off with the Black Wind. It's a pretty simple kit. It's pretty flat looking. It only comes with about eight pieces. A couple missiles, a couple wings, a pewter stand, and a base. So let's go ahead and have a look at what it looks like built. So this is what the model looks like being built. The only thing adjustable is the two wings on each side. And it has a little turret on the bottom that you can kind of move however you feel like it. The two missiles can be changed for anti-tank missiles or regular missiles. I have no idea which one is which. So I just kind of picked which one looked cooler. It's a pretty cool aircraft that looks like a stealth bomber and a traditional VTOL. It's definitely one of the better looking VTOLs for heavy gear blitz. I highly recommend getting one because it's an important piece to bring. You can go ahead and put it on a taller stand, but I like the stand that it comes with as the rules makes it 5 inches generally, which is about the height of this. And here I'm just comparing the model to a Warrior 4 and a Crusader. It's actually a lot larger when you get it. And it's about twice the size of your Warrior 4. It's very clean looking. There wasn't really a lot of cleaning that needed to be done to it beforehand for a resin kit. And right now we're going to go ahead and look at the Ulan. So just hold on a quick sec. Alright guys, so this is the Ulan, probably one of the coolest looking gear striders out there. And this is just what it came out of the bag with. So let's go ahead and have a look to see what's inside. So obviously here's a chest, two little back pads on the right side, two arms. There's a shield that actually goes on one of the arms. I actually didn't put it on the model when I built it. There's some missiles. Two big tank guns, little pieces for the two V engines, two simple legs. It's a very easy kit to build. There's not much to it. So let's go ahead and have a look at the Ulan build. So this is the Ulan build. It's a very big model. I'm surprised it comes on the base size as it does. I obviously picked the anti-tank variant because that just looks way cooler to have these giant long barrel guns on top, almost like artillery pieces. Some cool features about the model is that the drum magazines have the Peace Forever symbol on the back. The double V engines are a fantastic add-on. I also like how blocky it is compared to other gear striders. It looks very menacing. I like the chest gun as well. It definitely looks disgusting on the table as far as the rules go. It definitely has a transformer look, which I very appreciate. So we're going to go ahead and have a look at what other models compare in size to it, especially the Warrior 4. So this is the Warrior 4 compared to it, and as you can see, it's massive, at least twice the size of a regular gear. And probably twice as thick so let's go ahead and have a look at the crusader next to it which as you can see it's still a lot larger than the crusader i really like the rules for the ulan i think it's a great piece to buy for any piece river army it's pretty cheap to afford too currently i think i paid about 30 bucks for it which is pretty cheap you can go ahead and get the Ulan and the Black Wind from DP9 Pledge Manager. It's still on their Kickstarter. And I think by the time this is recorded, there should only be like a month left before it goes onto the online site. And also it's resin. So it's pretty good. This is what the Ulan and the Black Wind look like together. If you want to go ahead and like and subscribe, and then I'm going to go ahead and post another video soon. 
So build your community and play some games. <laughs>